Hello there, fellows, and welcome back to the beautiful Cube World. This will be episode 12, I think. And... I think we should just... No, no. Don't eat a muffin. No. Stop eating the muffin. You don't need to eat a muffin. I think we should just go and explore this jungle. I want to see if we can't get to the village that's on our map. It's quite a ways. So it's going to be an interesting episode. But yeah, let's go and check that out. Um, yeah. Sounds like there are some friendly people somewhere around here. Ooh, ooh, yeah, this is dark. Ooh. So yeah, this is a jungle. You can see we've got all these ferns and jungle trees. And it's kind of blue, foggy looking. So, and there are monkeys that are extremely dangerous, so we're not going to go right by them, but rather past them. And let's just keep on a walking. Do 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 Ooh, ooh. Looks like a forest runner or a leaf runner. Okay, let's see if we can take this thing on. Just one of them. Yep, yep, we got this. We have so got this. Wow, 11 XP. That's quite a bit. That is quite a bit. We're kind of under leveled to be in a jungle, I think. And nomad. Nomads are incredibly difficult. Don't want to go near him. I'm going to just fly over. There we go. But it's a lot of fun being here. Hey, Duckbill. We should be able to take that thing on. Yep. There we go. Ooh, crocodile. Crocodile. I'm probably going to have to eat some muffins before I do that. He's right over there. Yep, there he is. Let's check this guy out. Oh no. Twelve XP. Um, that's really good. But it looks like there are some goblins right over here. At least I saw some. Thought I saw some goblins. Pretty sure there were goblins. Oh well, we'll just keep on going. Uh, don't want to go near the nomad. I believe we were heading northwest. Yes, indeed. Let's go northwest. Alrighty. I suppose I should bring it up, but there's some unique, might be sad, might be good, I don't know, ambiguous, ambiguous news. Let's just call it ambiguous. We don't know. Because Microsoft has purchased Minecraft. It happened Monday, they sealed the deal, they're gonna do the actual takeover later this year. Um, so Microsoft basically now owns Minecraft, and they can do with it what they like. They say that they're gonna try and keep the community together, they're gonna try and 
can make multiplayer and stuff like that a much larger part of Minecraft. However, they're Microsoft, and the general opinion of Microsoft right now isn't the highest. Let's just put it at that. I, for one, much prefer Google. Don't want to go near a Skullbull. That would not be good. Google is amazing, in my opinion. And all of their research and development, all of their projects, it just, it's rather interesting, all that they're planning. Um, they've developed 3D printing, self-running cars, um, laptops that do not have operating systems. Very, very interesting stuff. And, um, but Microsoft, like, they, they, they seem to be trying to integrate everything a little bit too much, in my opinion. Um, for instance, Windows 8. My laptop has Windows 7, and I'm happy about it, because Windows 8 is designed for tablets. Level up. Windows 8 is designed for tablets and computers that are meant to be tablets some of the time, but why would you buy a computer to be a tablet? I don't know. Um, ooh. That looks like a fun mountain to climb. So does that. Um, So, Windows 8 event ended up being rather clunky and kind of not that good for... Ooh, that poor Noel fell all that way. Uh, it was rather clunky for people who don't want to use the touchscreen or um, features like that, um, myself included. So, I personally don't care very much for Windows 8. Microsoft should have, in my opinion, had a um, alternative or some sort of a Windows 7 type operating system rather than making their entire computer base, all of it, um, Windows 8. So, now they're buying Minecraft, and they're going to focus on Pocket Edition, Xbox, as well as PC. Hopefully, if everything goes well, in my opinion, they'll keep the original Mojang staff. They'll keep the main lead developers of Minecraft from Mojang, keep them on, keep them doing their thing, let them have their fun, maybe add one or two people, or a few people who are good at optimization, so that the game can run properly, and run well, unlike it does now, there are a lot of glitches in Minecraft, for those of, that, for those of you that don't know, um, it's a very, very glitchy game. And, yeah. But hopefully they'll add some people to make it run well. But besides that, I don't feel that they need to do hardly anything at all. They don't really need to change anything just to make it more Microsoft-y because 
quite honestly, there's a huge community behind Minecraft, and a lot of them would be very, very disappointed. So, anyway, that means that if they start, say, if they're extremely, extremely not thinking about this, and they start to put copyright or some sort of a ban on making Minecraft YouTube videos, a lot of people would suffer from that, and myself included. However, with me, I would probably more concentrate on Cube World, stuff like this. Maybe make a Cube World tutorial series, how to survive in Cube World, or something like that. Because Cube World is a very similar style game, a little bit more RPG based, but it's still an alpha. And I know that the developer is still working on it. He's got his own things that he has to do besides this. He's got a job, so it's not going as fast as, say, Minecraft development is right now. But there are some pretty major and very interesting changes that he has planned and I'm sure that the game would grow very similar to the way Minecraft did. I might also start doing a Starbound Let's Play. Starbound is basically it's basically Terraria but more based off of science science fiction style um, space exploration very interesting, kind of a fun game to play. So that one would be another one on my list. So I don't know what the future has in store, but I can tell you Cube World is going to stick around. It's been the staple of my, my YouTube, YouTube channel. I've actually been able to post it a lot more regularly than, say, Minecraft. And... Um, no matter what I'm still gonna keep on making YouTube videos so just to let you guys know I am really enjoying recording it's quite quite fun Ooh, parrot feathers. I think those are useful for something. I really don't know. For instance, this jungle. This jungle looks amazing. I'm having a ton of fun just scouting it out, fighting random... Okay, maybe not fighting a lot of them. I'm just gonna keep on going. Hope they ignore me. But you can see the articulation. None of this stuff actually has a texture. It's all... Um, every single cube is its own cube. You know what I mean? Like, this one is all green. This one is all brown. This cube right here is all this certain shade of pinkish brownish. I hope that's George. Yes, it is. All right. Ooh, this tree is blue. That's not something you hear said very often. Uh, ow. That ogre is attacking me. Is this a cave? Yes, it is a cave. Okay. Iron. Why can't I get to the iron? Oh well. Telly ho. Um. Northwest. But it's it's just it's a little bit insecure as of now. What Microsoft is going to do with Minecraft? So for now my series will continue there's nothing I can do to change the fact that Microsoft did buy Minecraft or the fact that Notch sold it which I 
don't blame Notch. He did what was in his best inter interest. I do feel kind of bad for the community because he did take himself into account far more than the tons of people who were relying on him. But it has been a long time for him playing Minecraft and or he he developed Minecraft as kind of a hobby thing. He didn't want it to become a huge huge game that it is. Um, he just wanted to have some fun, make a game, have a few people supporting him. It turned out that he made a game that was so absurdly good that everybody loves it, and he doesn't want that. He said, quote-unquote, that If he ever makes a game similar to the scale of Minecraft, that many people liking it, then he's going to abandon it right away. So, yeah. It looks like, on the map, there's a dungeon over this way. Let's check this thing out. Nomad, do not want to attack the Nomad. Okay. I'm not seeing it on my mini-map. Ooh, there it is. There it is. That looks like some sort of a pyramid. Is that a frog? That's a frog. That is a frog. That's a frog. Wow. I have not seen a frog before. Okay. That's cool. Let's get up here. Ooh. 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 Wow. This looks really, really nice. See, in Minecraft, you wouldn't be able to find stuff like this. It's red. Um, I'm not going to go in there, but I have it on my map now, and it's right on the way to the village, so if I level up and come back here, then we'll definitely be able to check this thing out. That looks seriously awesome. That actually, yeah, that's really, really impressive. So, let's keep on going. Northwest is the way that the village is. So, we're getting close. I do think that this episode is getting a little bit long, so I'm probably going to have to make a cut right here and continue it next episode. Ooh, I've got 50 mushrooms. Huh. Um, tell me what you think. Post down in the comments what you think about the Microsoft buying Mojang thing, even if you don't really play Minecraft which I'm going to recommend it. It's an awesome game. Check it out. Just play the demo. Survive a night or two. It's an awesome, awesome game. But, um... Just tell me what you think. Microsoft has bought Minecraft. And I think I'm going to have to end this episode here. This looks like a prime spot because I can sleep and regain some health. 
So I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed. I made a, a fair bit of just small talk this time. So I hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, so long.